Last year, one of the things that uh, I tried to do with the work was think about tackling some issues and some problems or challenges that I didn't necessarily haven't necessarily uh, thought about before. One of the things I tried to do is take the video monitor or the idea of video art. Um, off the wall and into the actual sculptures and then also how can I m make a piece look like a video or a moving image without it actually doing that. Uh, I think I was somewhat successful on, on those ends but it also led me to uh, discover and think about um, objects that function on a multiple, a multiple level meaning um, one of the, the projects, one of the ideas that I had was like an endurance obstacle that carries a tune. So one of the, the, one of the sculptures, the installations was an object that actually carried records or looked like weights or athletic weights and also had sound emitting from it and there being a video screen that was flat on the ground that didn't gave you like a, an atmosphere quality, more like a painting and not necessarily like a, uh, a narrative. Um, however, with those, uh, those videos, I learned uh, that I'm still interested in the narrative part of that and maybe thinking about uh, bridging the gap between the, those two things and then also uh, allowing the objects to perform for me in a way. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna be doing live performances or the performance art aspect. I am still going to explore that. I just don't know what that looks like and what that will entail going forward. Also, uh, what you're seeing in the video right now is uh, just kind of a way for me to represent sounds that is like an onomatopoeia, like a bang or a, a bam or a zap or like these, those, those words, uh, they produce this kind of uh, childhood nostalgia maybe that I still like to cling to. Uh, and also what you'll hopefully see in some of the videos is this kind of, this, this, not this kind of, this, this collection of uh, images that were uh, accumulated through uh, my childhood, uh, especially through the 80s and early 90s. I know that's kind of stick right now and, and kitsch when it comes to, you know, movies and TV shows like Stranger Things and uh, but that was also the time that I grew up, so I'm kind of I, I'm going back to that time period and using these references uh, to make new and different characters that are based on a completely different uh, set of ideas that loosely deal with the ideas of Joseph Campbell's hero journey, but also more specifically what I find fascinated about the ideas of creative flow. So that's just kind of like a little short insight into what we did last year and where that's led us this year.